Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Electricity is generated by various means depending on the energy source. Some use the combustion of fossil fuels while others use nuclear fission. But both these sources are non-renewable. What if electricity could be generated without the need for combustion? Well, this can be achieved by converting chemical energy directly into electrical energy by means of electrochemical cells called fuel cells. In this video, we'll discuss briefly about what a fuel cell is. You might be familiar with the working of a battery. In a battery, there are two types of chemical reactions taking place. The anode, made up of highly reactive metal, undergoes oxidation and produces electrons. On the other side, we have the cathode, which undergoes reduction by using up the electrons produced at the anode. The electrolyte does not allow the electrons to flow through. Thus, the electrons flow through a separate path, which connects the external load. But as the reactions come to an end, the battery eventually dies out. Similar to a typical electric battery, a fuel cell also has an anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte, which only allows the flow of ions. But here, the fuel and oxidizer are replaced continuously. A fuel cell can be of various types, like a proton exchange membrane fuel cell, that is also called a polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell, an alkaline fuel cell, a solid oxide fuel cell, and many more. Let's see the working of a proton conducting fuel cell, or in other words, a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. On one side of the fuel cell, hydrogen fuel flows to the anode, while on the other side, oxygen flows to the cathode. As the hydrogen comes in contact with the anode, a platinum catalyst causes the hydrogen to split into hydrogen ions and electrons. The electrolyte gets ionized in a solution and those ions conduct electricity. Hence, the positively charged hydrogen ions pass through the electrolyte, while the negatively charged electrons flow from the external circuit, consequently producing current. While all this is happening, there's another reaction taking place at the cathode. That is, the positive hydrogen ions and the electrons combine with oxygen and produce water. Therefore, a fuel cell works by producing electricity directly from chemical reactions. Depending on the materials used and the operating temperature, Fuel cells can be of various types. A solid polymer electrolyte fuel cell operates below 100 degrees Celsius and uses a platinum catalyst. Hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are an example of these types of fuel cells. An alkaline fuel cell uses hydrogen and oxygen in pure form with potassium hydroxide as an electrolyte. A phosphoric acid fuel cell can operate at high pressures and temperatures even as high as 200 degrees Celsius. This type of cell also uses hydrogen and oxygen, but they are more efficient as compared to previous types of fuel cells. Furthermore, molten carbonate fuel cells use a molten carbonate of sodium or potassium. Therefore, such cells can operate at higher pressure and temperature. For temperatures above 1000 degrees Celsius, high temperature solid oxide fuel cells are used. Such fuel cells use a solid electrolyte and have a higher efficiency. From all this, we can understand that fuel cells can be used in various environments. One of the major advantages of fuel cells is that they can be efficiently used in outer space because the byproduct of these reactions is water, which can be used by astronauts. Now, fuel cells find their application in cars, buses, to even boats because of their compact size. They are also used for applications of cogeneration where they generate heat as well as electricity for households and industries without polluting the environment. Well, that's all for today. You can find more interesting content in our channel, so stay tuned and until next time, bye!